my beautiful, my beautiful, my beautiful and beautiful Palsam family. How are you guys doing? I appreciate everyone tuning in. I appreciate people taking out the time. I appreciate you. I can't do this without you. Um, for people that don't know, Stay Palsam promotes unity for people and for animals through humane education, through wellness, through health, through resources and support. This community is a Paul-tastic community, a Paul for the Paulsons and an all for the awesomes. So my animals and my human beings, we are all on this planet together and I want us to be able to work in unity to be together. So one of the things which is a great way to help a furry friend is by changing your eating habits. Um, whether you're doing Meatless Monday, whether you're a vegetarian, whether you're vegan, whether you're pescatarian, plant-based, and you're just taking on that opportunity to try your best to not consume as much meat, I just want to give a big thanks to you doing that. Whether, like I said, you, you're a per diem, like I tell people, some people that be like, you know, I don't eat meat twice a week and you know, I'm taking my time to ease into being a vegan. Um, that's still a step, you know what I'm saying? I don't ever frown upon anyone that still eats meat. It's not my place. I'm no one to judge. Um, but I think that not only does it help us, our bodies, but it also does help the animals, you know, have a better life than being where they're at. So on that token of being a post-tastic person, a post-some person, that you know is trying to look or trying to see how they can just better themselves and be more healthy. Um, I want to talk about a vegan recipe, some vegan recipes that I actually love. That is anyone can make it, and um, and it's cost like it's it's um very it's not as pricey. Um, And I'm going to give the breakdown of some of the stuff that I do because for people that do not know, I have been vegan since 2018. Woo, 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 woo. (laughs) So, yes. So, let me start it off by saying, what can we have for breakfast? I um, always try to do some cereal. There's some cereals. Um, Oatmeal with fruits. Um, You could do breakfast burritos. Well, we can add some beans in there. You know, if you would like to get like some products in the supermarket that are plant-based products, they have like vegan cheeses. They have like vegan bean crumbles. They have like different options out there. I would just always recommend that even on the front, it, it may say, well, it's depending like if you're vegan, vegetarian or whatever, but this is specifically for people that don't want to eat dairy products as well. Even if the front cover says plant-based, please turn it around and read the ingredients because, guys, guess what? 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 (laughs) It may contain some dairy products in there, and it's always good to make sure you just, you know, be mindful and be aware of what you're purchasing. I think that's just something that we all could take and take charge of in our lives. And don't forget to leave some um, bags in your trunk, too, so you can be able to... um, (laughs) Have bags and I have to use plastic bags. That's also a great way to help the environment. And so, yes. So, um, what I was talking about? Yeah, breakfast foods. So, yes. So, breakfast burritos. So, people that do eat tofu, you can make a tofu scramble. So, I used to eat tofu. And when I would make tofu scramble, I would um, add some lime and some turmeric in it and saute it in a pot and I will add some spinach and broccoli and tomatoes, but you can mix it up, get it funky. You know, whatever you like in there, make it yum malicious for your appetite, for your stomach. Your stomach thanks you. Um, And I used to put like the plant-based bacon, but if I did have enough time and I wasn't in a rush, I would make vegan bacon out of eggplants. And what you do is you slice the eggplant very thin and then you um add some, you can add amino acid or you could get like the, if you don't want a soy product, they have the no soy sauce. Um, and I found it in Walmart, but I also saw it in Whole Foods. So it's depending on where you grocery shop. It's um, a no, no soy sauce sauce <laughs> made out of kelp. And um, 
you know, you can add that for the seasoning season how you want. And it's actually pretty good. So give that a chance. So that and breakfast tacos. I can never go wrong with some breakfast tacos. Oh, you can use just egg, the plant-based egg too. They have like the foldable wraps and they have like also the bottle. Those are like really good. Um, I used to eat that as well. And you know, that's, that's like, there's definitely many more. You can also, if you have time, you can make pancakes. They have pancake mix that is made out of almond flour and you can buy that at your supermarket. And, um, you can make muffins. I love a good muffin. Croissants. You can make homemade croissants or at Whole Foods, they do sell croissants that are already made. Now that's more on the pricier end because for four croissants, it's $8. So just be mindful of that if you're trying to save some money. But if you want a nice treat, you know, treat yourself. Don't defeat yourself. So let's move on. There's definitely way more breakfast options, but that's like normally um, some great options. I think that, you know, it's yummalicious and will fill your belly. I don't know if you can hear my lovely cat storm in the background, but if you can, tell her meow. Um, moving on to lunch. So for lunch and dinner, you can... I'm going to actually say lunch and dinner because you could do either one of these for lunch and dinner. So depending on how, you know, maybe you just eat twice a day. I'm going to start off with the chickpea tuna sandwich. So tuna, what? Yes, it's no tuna, even though we say it's tuna. But <laughs> it's no tuna. So you take the chickpeas and believe me, these are, this was the one sandwich that saved my butt from going back to tuna fish. And you smash up the chickpeas in a bowl. And my mouth is water. And you add, I like to add in celery. I like to add in onions. I like to add in some lime, my seasonings. Um, and off the top of my head, that is like the basic right now. Oh, of course, there is vegan-based mayo, but I try my best to not use mayo and to just use mustard solely because, you know, it's less calories and... And I just feel like it's more better. Come storm, stay right here, mama. So, um, yeah, so then you smash it up. And then you add your toppings on there, on your bread. So now with bread, there are vegan-based breads. Please be sure that you check your backgrounds when buying. Check the backgrounds. <laughs> check the back of the bread and read the ingredients to make sure there's no dairy products. But there are... um breads that you know you gluten-free bread that has no dairy and um when you go into the organic section of the supermarket if i'm not mistaken some of the breads are there you have to really look sometimes or just ask you know it's nothing wrong with asking but yeah so a chickpea sandwich what with some homemade potato chips which you could just slice the potatoes into you know thin slices and then fry it add your seasoning you can make barbecue chips really good and kids love it oh also excuse me just to reverse reverse um you definitely can make uh, potatoes you know the little hash browns i'm um, little potato little um potatoes for breakfast too okay sadie yes so also another thing that i love for lunch and dinner is quesadillas and you know you get your your tortilla you can either make it homemade or you could get the store bought tortilla whichever is just like and just read the ingredients as always make sure it's you know up to par to what you require whether you want soy whether you want it to be gluten free whether you want wheat whether you don't want that you know there's options so um i stuff up my quesadilla so before i used to do like the beyond me and stuff i do not do that anymore but um you know you can stuff it up with there there's a lot of vegan products out there plant-based products that you can stuff it with for the meat sometimes i use now i use sometimes i use um mushrooms or i just use beans and then i add tomatoes um jalapenos banana peppers i like spicy <laughs> so this is all for my spicy people um Sometimes I might add rice or quinoa or couscous in there. And um, I'm trying to think what else. You know, once it's beans, I'm just honestly happy. Oh, if you want vegan cheese, you don't have to have vegan cheese. Oh, you could also make your own homemade cheese, which is cool. So, and then homemade fr french fries. French fries and tacos or quesadillas are, like, my favorite. I, um... Stop eating french fries recently solely because of what I've learned about them. But, um, yeah, french fries. Now, pasta. There's so much. And there's other ways you could do quesadillas, too. 
whatever you like. You want banana peppers? You add it. You want just bell peppers? You add it. Oh, stuffed bell peppers. It's another meal you can make and it's yummalicious. And stuff it with your favorite things. You know, I'm not going to tell you how to do it, but I'm going to tell you that it's going to be good. <laughs> oh, this food, I'm like, oh. So, yes. So, um, you can make homemade mashed potatoes. Also, you can make, you know, one of those, yes, pastas. That's what we was getting into. You can make pastas. And then it's the same thing. You can add what you want. I like to add broccoli. I like to add um, sometimes cauliflower. I like to add sometimes purple cabbage in my pasta. You know what I'm saying? There's no wrong answer. It's all about how it tastes at the end. You know, you'll be very surprised. You just, what I do, and this is the, the, the thing, a best way about making a dish, right? I go into the supermarket. And I focus on my produce first. And normally when you walk into the supermarket, depending on what supermarket, that's normally the first thing you see. I walk into the supermarket and I go straight to the produce. I go pick my greens, uh, whether it's going to be kale, whether it's going to be broccoli, whether it's going to be Brussels sprouts, spinach, um, you know, or may, it may not just be a green. It may honestly just be a veggie and I might get some carrots or beets or, you know what I'm saying? And then that kind of gives me an idea of what I will be making. Because once I get my greens, that's so I'm like, okay, I'm going to chop that up. I'm going to saute it. Boom. Now do I want mushrooms or do I want to go with beans? Those are normally, that's my meat base. Um, could do cauliflower. I'm um, Excuse me. You could do cabbage steaks. You could do cauliflower steaks as well. That can also be a meat alternative. There's many different meats. If you want to stay with the stuff that's not processed. Um, and that's what I'm leaning towards now with just learning more about like processed food as a whole is making me lean more towards, um, just sticking in the produce and trying my best to just shop in the produce. But, um, once you get those two components down packed, then you're like, okay, what, um, carb will I have? And with that, it could be bread. It could be rice. It could be, um, pot. It could be, you know, a grain. It doesn't have to just be rice. Um, and then you see, you know, what else you may want on the other side. You know what I'm saying? But that makes the meal, honestly. And it's simple and it's not expensive at all. And it's a great way to introduce different fruits and veggies to your family, honestly. To, you know, maybe one week try something different. Maybe, one, you know, and you never know who might like it. And who might, you know, honestly, honesty is the best policy. Maybe somebody won't like it. Now for desserts. I love a good dessert. Whole Foods has a lot of sweet treats. I'm not going to lie. And honestly, the depending on what it is, it's not that bad. They have vegan donuts. They have, um, oh, you can, and listen, also, you can buy the stuff and you can make it if you don't have a Whole Foods next to you. Or you might have another grocery store that sells vegan desserts, and that's cool too. Or a bakery. But you could do vegan cupcakes. You can, excuse me, you can, yeah, you could do um, cupcakes. You could do cakes. You can, anything you like, there's a way to make it. You know what I'm saying? And whether you have to look it up on YouTube, YouTube is a great one. Whether you have to go to the supermarket and see, there's cheesecakes, ice creams. You can buy store bought um, plant based ice creams with coconut milk or almond milk or soy milk, is different ones. Um, you know, snacks too is like chips and, or you could always do fruits, but don't forget you have your, also your nuts. Don't go nuts trying to buy too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you take it one step at a time. That's the most important part is if wherever you are in life, as you're prepping your food for this week, just love yourself, love the people around you and just continue being awesome. Continue loving who you are and who you're becoming and just know that you can do anything. And when you live in your light, you're going to not only help yourself, but other people and animals around you. So I love you guys. I hope this was informative. You can always DM me on staypawsum919. Um, you can email me, staypawsum919 at gmail.com. You can visit staypawsum.org. This is Jelana Malone. Stay Pawsome promotes unity in people and animals through humane education, wellness, health, support, and resources. If you know someone that needs a care package, is in need of hygiene products, care products, clothing, pet products, 
canned goods or some groceries or just assistance in some way, please do not be afraid to contact us. This is what we're here for. Everyone needs a loving hand and we are here to lend a hand. If we can do it, we will make it happen. We're all in this in unity. If you would like to donate, please do not be afraid to contact me as well. I truly would gratefully. Oh my gosh, appreciate it because I can't do this without you. <laughs> I can't. And I'm just thankful for everybody that um, lends a hand already. I am so blessed for all the people that are here and are supportive. And I just want to say I love you. I love you. And thank you. Thank you. Um, And just living your truth, baby. Hey, love y'all.